Okay, good morning everyone. We're back here today. We're out on Cold Lake. Uh, today's a pretty cool day. We're actually going to be staying in a trailer for the day. Uh, here is the trailer, Angler's Bait and Tackle in Cold Lake. There's Tim's phone number. If you need anything, you can give him a call. And he's got, I believe, three trailers and two shacks. And then all of a sudden, he's got this set up on the lake right by the marina. So you come in here. Bang, Bam, he's got all his baits for sale for you if you need anything. TC Moto's galore in here. And this trailer goes and gets hidden every night. There's Kim there. He's got some swag for you too. Uh, bait, depending on the time of year, what he's got. Currently we're mid-March and we're down to, what, minnows, herring, and anchovies, which is still a great selection out here. He's staying warm with the heaters on and uh, that's that. We're gonna go sit in this trailer, catch some fish, and we're gonna set it up today. So he didn't preheat it for us, but that's okay. Well, part of the package today, we told him we'd do it so he can stay in the trailer. So we're gonna do that. Thanks for that, Cam. We appreciate it, and we'll uh, we'll see you when we get out there to the trailer. So here are the shacks and trailers and all that. We're just pulling up to the trailer here. He's got wood sitting there for us, ready to go. Normally he'd have this all ready for us, but we told him we'll take care of it since he's tied up with the store today. So this is going to be our home for the day and probably tomorrow too. So we'll see you on the inside. Okay, let's head in here and see what we got. We were in here yesterday, so there might be a little bit of ice and some chips we left, but uh, we got two beds here technically you could sleep on, three holes. Some storage up here, stove, oven, extra propane heater, two more holes here, bed here. Mike's just already making the fire because he's awesome that way. There is a bathroom in the back with uh, basically a bucket and a bag. There's nothing in there now, it's just a pail right now, but we don't need to show you that. So, um, van on top of the fireplace and uh, just show you down a hole shroud here. Got them all covered in. Hold, we'll pull that out. We'll drill some holes, then we'll get to, we'll get to fishing here right away. We're in 100 feet of water right now, and uh, that's it. So again, it's angler bait and tackle. We've got it labeled on the front of the trailer here. So if you're out here on Cold Lake, you can see which trailers are his, and uh, we're gonna get drilling. Okay, I'm going to show you what we did in the tent today with the active target. So underneath Steve's foot is the summit fishing pole with the, tran the tripod with the transducer on it. Running out into my HDS Live here so you can see there. Then we ran an extra Ethernet cable out the back. We just did a cheap quick fix over the roof, over to Mike's Elite FS and into the back of there and we are sharing the same transducer on both units just as if we're in the boat but because we're on opposite sides of the trailer we are able to see what we're doing and Clarissa's loving it Mike's loving it if we only could catch some fish that's me up there so you probably won't catch me but uh yeah we've thrown the uh half the tackle boxes at these guys today we got a bunch of hooks hanging up here and uh you guys got oh they're everywhere they're put away and it's been a tough day out here not a single bite for us we got some friends that did get some but we're just going to keep plugging away now that the sun's out and hopefully we can get something okay well we didn't catch any fish today uh, so we didn't catch any supper so we're just at express pizza ordering some pizza which are phenomenal so if you're ever in cold lake and you want to grab a pizza or a donair or they even got milkshakes in here and obviously everything else on the sign there definitely an awesome place to go super nice staff so worthwhile give them a look when you're in town here they're right on the main drag sorry for the swearing i was just okay shocked. steve is uh steve's hooked up it's it's sunday morning we've been it's been a struggle but uh he's on i'm gonna hand the camera off to mike here and i'm gonna dig in there to get that fish out so hopefully i'm not in your way I do have a stinger, as you know. Okay. And Floro, you got about, what, six, eight it's feet? About six feet, yeah. Okay, he's off to the left, which is good. But everybody's, all the lines are up, so. 
This is going to be uh, a long reach, but we'll get them. Do you want the gripper? Um, yeah, it wouldn't hurt to have handy. I'll get it, I got time. Take a shot of the active target. You should freaking see Oh, wow. It. Now you got one over there. Keep forgetting we got two. All right, so we're still 30 feet down, 20 feet over. Uh, pretty cool to be able to see that. He's gonna start coming. Well, now we got a bunch of bubbles on that target. We're almost to floral. Give me one sec. I'm gonna try to just melt that. Off on the, under the door now. Hold There's your floral. There's I saw a tail. Uh, so let me uh pull, pull. Yeah, you're good. Okay. You know what? That worked perfect. We got him. Fish. Uh. Um. Ah. Uh. Done it. Screwed up the tail. He's barely hooked on the side of his mouth here. My player's out yet. <laughs> Perfect. Give uh, drop your rod and grab them. Uh, Bam. Did you take pictures? You can take pictures off that range. I can, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah, his gill is wonky donkey. That wasn't from you. Yeah, was you going to get him back here right away? Sure, I'll get him. I'll come in for a release video. Just let him down. It's a long drop down, but. Hurry, buddy. I don't mean to, but oh, here we go. Awesome. Well, Steve, I was outside. So what happened? Were you <laughs> jigging? Was he? Uh, I was just jigging, and he came in. And he thumped it pretty good. To be honest with you, after waiting for so long, I thought it was just kind of <laughs> had a my hung up on the ice a little bit with some with some of the frozen line, and he thumped it again and awesome. set the hook. So sweet. So it's the first fish for our group in. Uh, in the anglers bait and tackle trailer <laughs> in, in 36 hours, but, but still, still good. Yeah. Uh, did you see him on the extra target, or did he just? He came in just a little blip at first, and then uh, that's when he thumped it. So. Awesome. Well, hey, fish is a, a fish is a fish. Wasn't big, but uh, don't matter. So good job on catching him. Thank you. Okay, we are uh, we're heading out. We got the fire. Let's just double check. Damper closed, closed. There's a little bit left in there, just smoldering. Left everything in here that was in here when we got here. Just organizing that. Um, stove was like that when we got here. Covered all the holes back up. Just give you one last look at the trailer here. Again, there's two holes at this end. Three, sorry, two that we fished. And then there's two here. Bathroom in the back. I'll go into the bathroom and show you guys earlier. There's a tub here. Kim says that some people will use the tub. They'll put the slush in it from the holes and they'll keep fish in it or they'll keep drinks in it. And then there's a toilet here with a bucket underneath and window outside. There's a fan up top and that's her. Awesome trailer. It uh, was super wicked being in here this weekend. Uh, fishing was slow all over the lake. So is what it is. We got the trucks all packed up. Uh, huge shout out and thank you to Kim at Angler's Bait and Tackle. We all really appreciate what you did for us this weekend and uh, we look forward to doing it again. So thanks a bunch for watching everyone and uh, if you can use these huts, definitely get out here and give them a try. They're super comfortable. Thanks for watching.